Closed without warning, a popular restaurant in Baton Rouge shut down today. The owner of the Velvet Cactus telling WBRZ they could not keep up with costs. News 2's Mia Monet in the newsroom. She talked to other business owners who say it's tough being the little guy. That's right, Michael. They say they are feeling the same pain as the velvet cactus. Rising prices are making it harder to make ends meet. By Thursday afternoon, boards were already over the windows and door at the velvet cactus on Old Hammond Highway, and a fence was put up around the building. The restaurant took to Facebook this morning with a surprise announcement about its closure. The statement read in part, we appreciate the love our patrons have given us over the years and the care and dedication our employees have shown for the business from beginning to end. The post goes on to say business was brisk, but that it just cost too much to keep the doors open. Other restaurant owners like Elvande Rabin say they understand. Cooking oil went from $17 to $47 prior to COVID. And during COVID, those businesses that, that were able to stay open, stayed open. The prices never dropped, so now there's no need to adjust that market price back down. Rabin says he'd be in a tough spot if he had a larger staff. In my situation here at Pit and Peel, I always worked as if I was in a pandemic. It was just me as an employee and one other person that runs this place. He says he sometimes has to make tough decisions about what customers will pay to make sure his restaurant can stay open, unlike some others in the capital area that have shut down this year. Am I also able to, you know, make a profit so that I can grow? You know, I've been here nine years. You know, I've seen restaurants open and close in Baton Rouge for, for less than what, you know, the cactus is dealing with. If you have a gift card for the Velvet Cactus that you never used, go to our website, WBRZ.com, to find out how to get your refund. I'm Mia Monet, WBRZ News 2.